Hey guys, this is Top Fit, and today I want to do my official review on the Sony ICFC1 alarm clock. Now, I find this alarm clock, it's a very solid alarm clock, it's, but it has some flaws, but I would give it four stars. One, I love it's a cube, it has a very nice sleek design. You can adjust the brightness of three um, time, three different settings by pushing the snooze button. Um, it has a radio, of course, and then you can wake up to the buzzing alarm, which uh, is, is kind of quiet, but it gets um, up um, louder as uh, time progresses with like a minute or so. Then or you can just wake up to the radio. Um, you can set your alarm time, which um, I'll show you how to do everything you need. This was all um, because everyone always, I get, I seem to get good reviews. I mean, everyone at school makes fun of me. I don't give a shit about y'all because I'm getting views on this stuff. People actually want to know how to set these. So let's get into it. Let me get this put over. So overall it is a very solid alarm clock. There's just one weird flaw is um, the time. And it might sound like a big deal, but I don't think it's a big deal to me. But most people will be. Is the time, over time it slowly increases by itself. So, for example, while it would be 623 now, it would be like 630, for example. And in a year, it would be 650 right now. So, uh, I just reset it um, yesterday. Um, but, like, over time, it, it progresses. It will become, then it will be like, while well, it's supposed to be 624, it actually said display 640. Which makes absolutely no sense to you. But that's just, for some reason, it just wants to um, upgrade in time. So that's the only flaw, but it still is helpful. I really like this shape. It has a backup battery. I actually saw one of these at good, one of the Goodwills. I was just looking for, you know, TVs because I want to collect them. Of course, I can't collect them, but I want to. And I saw it. I saw one of these for five bucks. So I was like, I was about to get it, but so I was like, nah, I got one. I don't, I don't buy stuff from Goodwill anyway. Just go there to look. Everyone's always disposing of their um, flat screen TVs. I can get one for like 20 bucks at an LCD one. I mean, it's old, but I like that price. And we're here for the clock. First, to set the time. First, I want to show you some of the basic functions. How to turn on the radio. You push the radio button. And you can tune it using the side button. And then here. And then that's how you turn. And you hit alarm reset to turn it off. See? And that's and then this is how you turn adjust the volume. If you want to listen to radio, most people don't. And the um, next thing is uh, this is the snooze button. You know how that works. And you can change from AM to FM. Now everyone's here to set the clock. So first we have our functions in the back. We can set our time zone, which uh, isn't not included. I mean, never mind. Ex just ignore that I said that. Here's the uh, time set button. These are to the adjust the time. So first what we're going to do is just, those are the three buttons we're going to use. First we're going to hit the time set button on the back. And we're actually going to hold it. Then now we can use these buttons to increase or decrease the value displayed. Right now we're on the year, 19. So if it's 2020, you could put 20, but it's 19. Then we'll hit this button again. To, once you've selected your value, um, you'll hit it again. Then it'll select to the um, the date, which is nine. Then it'll select to the um, day. So, and of course, you can adjust um, times. Like if it was the twenty fifth, we can do that with the up arrow, up and down buttons. Now here's the time. This is all one value, so we can with six twenty uh, six thirty, and then if once you adjust it, you can hold it actually. So don't think you have to click. Um, um, then um, once it goes, you click it after a 12, it'll turn to AM. So that's how you switch it. Um, then once you're done adjusting your values, it'll hit and this, and it'll be set. So that's how you set the clock. And to do the alarm, first you want to choose um, for tomorrow. Um, let me adjust the lighting. First you want to switch it to what mode, and we're going to do buzz for the demonstration. Then next is the alarm. So just all you have to do for the alarm is just, just push this button here. 
So all you gotta do is select these two buttons and select it. We're, let's do an alarm for right now. Uh, let's do 6.28 p.m. so I can demonstrate that this works. And as again, we're just holding it. And it's set, officially. That's all you have to do and it'll just come off. So then it, this so it tells you, indicates the alarm is selected. So we're gonna wait a minute and see if, and I'll show you how it beeps. So this will also be the uh, full review and how to set it. So just wait a minute guys and I'll show you when the alarm pops. Here it's beeping. It's very quiet, but it's gonna get louder. So I'll put the uh, speaker next to it, like this. It also beat faster. Faster, then it'll get louder actually. And yes, let me see if it gets any louder. This will not affect its volume, so don't worry about this. And that's the loudest the alarm will go. So um, it's not very loud, but it, it will get you up unless you're one of those heavy sleepers, which I'm a, I'm a kind of person who if I hear something, I'll wake up. But if you're one of those people who just you can't for the life of them, cannot get up, I would not recommend this to you. But if you're a normal person, of course, you, this will easily wake you up. Um, so I really love this thing. And I keep it on my nightstand. And it looks nice. So that's my uh, review. Thanks for watching. This is Top Fin. Um, I do, I'd, I'd partially recommend it. Um, like I was just said, if you're looking for a nice alarm clock, I'd definitely get this. But if you have OCD, I wouldn't get this. Thanks for watching. This is Top Fin. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.